We've been hearing a lot about fake news lately. I'll tell you what fake news has been the last few weeks. People talking about the electors and the Electoral College not voting for Donald Trump. We have Martin Sheen and Hollywood stars going on commercials. We have the Harvard professor going on TV and giving pro bono legal advice to the electors, telling them how they can move. He said there were 20, 20 that might be moving, and uh, there were other people that advocated. Maybe it'll be 37, 40, who knows? Guess what? There were two that defected from Trump. Two. More people defected from Hillary. So Trump went from 306, which were pledged election night, to 304. Hillary dropped down to 227 from 232. People went for Bernie or the Spotted Owl or whatever the case may be. But all this news about how there were going to be 20 defecting, at least 15, I was told by one academic, two, two defected. I mean, in 1808, you had eight leave. When Hamilton, or not, I'm sorry, Hamilton, but uh, Madison ran, I tell you what, the news media, what happened to having two sources, uh, solid sources before you run a story? You just go with something because somebody says something on the internet or has a news conference or sends out a letter? What's the basis of that stuff? Also, Barack Obama last week had a news conference and talked about his own success and his own coalitions when he ran for president, but he didn't do as well transferring that to the off year. He's going to help Democrats get their act together. Well, on Obama's watch since 2009, the Democrats have lost 68 House seats, 12 U.S. Senate seats, 10 governor's seats, and over 1,000 state legislative seats. Can you think of a Democratic president or Republican president who gave up so much ground in the country politically, and he's going to give advice? Democrats have to get back to basics, get rural voters back, talk about jobs and the economy in ways that can relate to small town and rural voters because the big cities are already in the tank for them. But uh, enough excuses, enough fake news. Let's now move on and try to govern the country or at least Democrats can gear up for the next run in 2020. In the meantime, quit whining so much. My two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist to work for Tommy Thompson, knows how to get things done downtown. We can talk about this and more tomorrow at 8 on madisontalkers.com, The Mitch Hake Show. Talk to you then.